Hello, I'm back with another lesson based on another cover I did. This time it's for Dave's song by Whitney. Um, again, there was a comment on the cover asking if I could show what I'm playing. Um, this is mostly taken from a tab on Ultimate Guitar, but slightly different. So this should hopefully get make it a bit clearer and a bit more true to the Spotify version. It won't be perfect because it's very much just how I play it rather than an official tab, but it, it should get you there. Um, for the song, there's three bits, really. There's the intro and verse, which is the main reason you're here, I'd imagine. There's the chords for the chorus and then the chords for the sort of interlude after the second and third, or between the second and third choruses. So to start with, you want the capo on the first fret, and for the intro and the verses, it's just the chord C and D minor. So to start, we're going to hold the C chord, we're going to play the bass note, so third fret and the fifth string, and then strum. So just bass note, strum, and then sort of up, down, up, gently on the high, the three highest strings, so um, third, second, and first string, G, B, and E, so. And then you're going to keep your first finger on the first fret of the second string, and then you're going to put either your third finger or your pinky or even your middle finger if you're feeling brave, but um, I play pinky on the third fret of the first string. You're going to play the three highest strings and slide up two frets. So your first finger is now on the third fret and your third finger or pinky is now on the fifth fret. So together it's straight into an A minor. Play the bass note twice and then strum and then we get into the lick. The lick is a whole load of hammer-ons and pull-offs so you'll only play each string once as you go up and down but the notes you play are so that's Starting on the first fret of the second string, up to the third, open on the high E, and then third, first open on the second string, second open on the third, same again on the fourth, second and open, and then open on the fifth, third fret. But with the hammers and pull-offs it sounds like So just playing each string once. And that C, eh, sorry, that third fret on the fifth string, final note, is the start of the C chord for the following line in the verse. So all together it should sound like. playing that until they get to the final line of the verse and instead of doing the lick you will gently strum the A minor and pull your first finger off of the first fret of the second string. To take into the chorus. So very very slowly. This is the last line. And that's what you need to do. For the intro and the verse, you, when you're singing, the only thing you need to think about is the 
slide up from between the C and the A minor because um, the lick itself is in between the lines. So you won't actually have to sing at that point and it's easy enough just to um, play that. So once we get to here, we play the chorus, which is F, G, C, and A minor. And then it's F, G, C. Do that twice. So it should be, the way I play it anyway, is just a double on the bass note. And then you flick up on the second string. It's really up to you. You don't have to do this for the chorus, just whatever you like, but this is just how I play it. And then G. And then you're doing the C, but with the bass, you walk down to the A minor. So bass note, strum on the second string, bass note, strum, second string, and then A minor. Strum and play the first string. Again, entirely optional, it's just how I play it. And the bass notes for that, for the C, is just 3rd fret, 2nd fret, open. The open being the A minor. So that wasn't very clear, so I'll play it slowly. F. I'll actually move the phone so you can see my hand as well. Second line, you hold the C, so, and then instead of going to the A minor, you will play the second string, and then you will hammer on, open third string, hammer on it in the second fret, and you will do this. Play the third string and then the second string, you'll do that three times. So start on the second string, and then on the fourth string, a eh, fourth time, sorry, you will just keep your second middle finger on the third string and just play it and then you play an open on the second string as you move to the F again so again slowly you'll be the F C hold it and then so it should sound like that roughly like that anyway again slowly just the C so twice on the bass note, strum, second string, third string, second, again, again, hold the middle finger and then open as you move into the F again. And you'll do that twice. finish this last line instead of doing the lick on the C you will hold the C and that's the start of the second verse the second time you do the chorus you play it as normal when you get to the end of this um, chorus, instead of finishing on the C, you'll go into the interlude, which starts on an A minor. And then a C, back to an A minor. C again. And then you get the, which will go to the A minor. You'll hammer on and off on the first finger again, same as we did for the verse. Oh, try that again. C, 
F C G and C back into the chorus one last time so again nice and easy from the last line of the previous chorus Just a minor C for the start. Then you finish off. So yeah, that that uh, obviously very brief bit of a whirlwind um, lesson. If you have any questions, because I appreciate that wasn't the clearest, just uh, comment. But hopefully that clarifies a few things. I know that the chords and the ultimate guitar version, which I will uh, include in the description, are wrong for the interlude. So just keep that in mind when you're going through that. But other than that, hopefully this is helpful. If there's any other songs that I've done a cover of that you want a tutorial for, just uh, ask for it. I think I'm going to do a couple more, because uh, I have had a couple more comments. I think I'm going to do another couple. But if there's anything that I haven't done yet, just let me know and I'll get it done. Thank you.